Hey guys, what is up? This is Lord Rick Steve, and welcome back to, um, I guess it's just kind of like a little bit of a, my camera just doesn't want to work today. Um, but welcome back to, I guess it's just something that I've been thinking of, um, recently, and I'm very passionate about, and kind of like the reason I started doing vlogs is I wanted to kind of share experiences, but, um, I wanted to talk about the fact that even though I'm sharing all of these experiences, you really can't document. There's no way to actually document what you feel, like, as you experience. You can talk about what, how you feel or in these experiences, but you can really never document it in a way that shows everyone else. So um, I wanted to play this little, I'm, I'm on a laptop right now, I wanted to play this little segment from the podcast um, that we just recorded, and um, because this, um, this topic means, like, it's very significant and it's important, so I'm just going to play this small little clip. It's just interesting to go to live performances just for that factor, and like, yeah, I think that's the, like, even tying it to, like, photography and stuff of just like, oh, well... I can see a picture of the Grand Canyon. Well, yeah, but like, unless you go to it live, you're never really gonna experience that. Absolute. Get out there. Because the experiences that you have in a live format is are so different than what you see in video or hear in audio or, like, you need to, like, you have like five senses for a reason. Use all of them. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so I wanted to just play that because um, it's, I talk a lot about, we talked about five senses. So the topic we're talking about in this specific podcast is um, how in concerts and um, in performances, the basis of this podcast topic was that the experiences you have um, in these concerts and stuff, and I don't need this anymore. Um, they impact you on, you know, how you, you feel in that moment. Like, it's, it's so interesting because people, when they record their, like, they record the, the concert and whatever, and you can show that to your, like, friends and family, and like, okay, this is what the concert was like, and it's so difficult to, like, put into perspective on exactly how you felt during that like moment. Like there's, it's just, it's so hard to explain to kind of do it a little, another example. If you haven't been to a concert, um, I want to do a little comparison between movies and books. I've never read, and I'm going to specifically talk about, um, I guess we'll just use Harry Potter for an example. I've only read, I've only watched the movies and a lot of times people say that the move, the books are so the book is so much better than the movies maybe specifically for Harry Potter that's that might be the case um but the difference is between movies and books is that in most cases movies don't show you exactly what the characters feel in those moments they don't know how they're reacting whereas in books they are written down in words what they're feeling how they're illustrating that and you probably I mean, in movies, you can probably get a sense of what they're feeling and how they're reacting. Okay, that's better. Um, but you never get a sense of how their, like, their emotions during certain, like, actions and certain scenes because they never really share it. Well, in experiences, that's kind of, like, relates to in real life. I can record these videos. I can, I can record going to the Adirondacks. I can record going to the beach or Key West, but... In reality, I can read. I those experiences that I have are just in memory form. And we were talking about this in the podcast a little bit as well. Is that you can only record those based off of your memory, and you have to be there to experience exactly what happens. Because if you don't go into, like, if the person experience who experienced that, it's a full perspective, and they can have a memory for it. Whereas people who actually never have like on there only see in like video and audio even like and i i wanted to kind of um take it back to like the 
five senses again because as you heard I was kind of shouting you have five senses you got to use them so so for like in video and like I mean um, for picture and video format obviously you can have the two senses of sight and um, audio so hear things and you can see things so you can hear the waves in the background you can hear the people in the wind um, and then you can see the locations and what's around you and you can experience um, you can experience exactly what either you have seen or someone else is seeing but it doesn't really give you a perspective and what I want to talk about exactly what I mean by that is specifically I've had the most perspective when I'm somewhere on top of a mountain like probably in the Adirondacks or somewhere this is the best probably the best example and then you kind of get this because your eyesight really for most cameras unless you're using like a GoPro it doesn't give you a full like view of everything around you it usually kind of centers in this kind of vicinity you're kind of like if you took like your fingers like this and you put them in like a square that's what um that's the vicinity that they would that's that's the border of what the camera is actually showing you whereas maybe in the GoPro or something it shows you so much more but it's still I think it's different another way I like to describe it is in a video format in a camera format it's blurred it doesn't exactly show you the full image however when you put your glasses on you see everything you see more details you can see every you can see like the parts on the mountain you can see the sky and all that other different things that you can't really I mean you can probably see it if you have a really good quality camera but I mean the human eyesight is so much different than what the camera I think it likes me wearing glasses so I'm just gonna wear glasses because it doesn't recognize me as a face um, so the camera just can capture only so much that's what I guess I'm trying to say like even right now you can't see exactly what's behind me but the camera is still capturing some of what's, what's there and um, if, even if I look behind me like I can see like I can see leaves all the way in like the back parts of the forest like it's so different from a human perspective rather than a camera perspective I'm sure it eventually will have technology where we can get somewhat close to what we can experience but your eyes are there for a reason and your senses are there for a reason um, the taste, touch, and smell. You can look at and you can look at it at as many food websites. You can look on cooking websites. You can look on. It's just you can look at any like food-based things that are based off of taste. You still will not get the taste of what is actually there unless you're like present in that moment. Let's say, for example, I I know so well the taste of like burning campfire, like burning wood, and then like salt water for like oceans, and maybe even like I guess in a way this is kind of gross, but the taste of like like the landscapes around you, like the city or something, like you can like it just it just got a different like feeling to it, I guess. Um, the touch is you can like you know grab sand or rocks you can like feel the ground you can feel like textures and stuff you can feel you know the wood on the trees that's that are around you you can feel like when you're walking on different types of pavement you can feel that um, and then the smell is I think the most recognizable smell for me it's one of my favorites is the uh, salt of the ocean as I can I love the smell of salt water um obviously i love food so smelling food is um it's pretty great too um so i guess i just wanted to talk about and that was it i just want to talk about like my passion is like video making videos for you guys and i i enjoy this as a hobby but it's difficult for me to exactly 
capture what I'm actually feeling, what I'm actually smelling, what I'm actually tasting. So the best I can do is just give you guys some audio and some video so, so you can watch. Um, and I guess that's what the made me so much pa so passionate. Like this is, I'm wearing a hat because my hair is a mess because I just woke up. Like this is like I woke up passionate about like talking about this because the moments that you I have here are so like I have so many moments where I've recorded that are significant to me, but it might be difficult for you to get a perspective on what I'm actually feeling in those moments. So. Um, I think the biggest example too is, I remember the first, like, it feels like every time I go to New York City and I'm going into Times Square, you get all these crowded areas and then you like, you get to the center point and you just look up and you do like a 360 degree spin and I've shown it a few times in videos and it's just, it's just so over, it's, I guess it's overwhelming and it's kind of like, fascinating at the same time that like no matter what no matter what time Times Square is always lit up and busy and it's just incredible that like a, like New York City like that can do that type of thing where it can be vibrant and alive for like vibrant and alive for long periods of time um, so that's all I'm gonna mention um, if you haven't listened to our podcast you can go check it out in Anchor or whatever you listen. And um, the episode I just shared was concert experiences and intuitness. So check that out. Um, if you just search Absolute Adventure, I mean, Absolute Adventure for our podcast, you, you can find it anywhere. Um, I'll link it through Spotify because I know a lot of people use Spotify. So I'll link the Spotify in the description because I use that. Um, but with that being said, um, I challenge you to um, experience something. Get out there, go to a park, go take a walk, maybe walk around the city, maybe go into a location that you're not familiar with. Make sure you're safe though. We don't want any people getting, like going off cliffs or unknown areas, like go with a friend or something. And then um, let me know how you, experience it, how you feel, what you taste, what you taste, what you touch, what you smell, like what it, what, what was it like? So, um, that being said, thanks for watching. Um, hope you have a good week. Um, I will be releasing the vlog next week, so I'm gonna be doing vlogs on a two week basis rather than just one week, and then we do the same thing for our podcast anyway, so when we I release these, the podcasts are live, so. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Lorbeck Steve. Um, just talking about experiences and whatnot. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.